Hello, I'm Shane Ashford. And my name is Brenda. I have always wanted to adopt since a young age. I remember hearing a story about a baby in need, and it was the first time that I had that aha moment that there are children out there that don't have families. I never thought about adoption. I had never dreamt about it, never read about it, had any exposure to it. When we found an adoption agency that was willing to work with us, we we were gung ho. It was exciting. We were um, we were ready to roll. We were doing all the things, and then felt God immediately shut that door, and it was devastating. After a year and a half after the door was closed and we had gone through a process of mourning, I got a call from a friend and a colleague who said, you want a baby? So we immediately started to pray and to dive into scripture. I think God orchestrated our adoption story in a, in a way to where we could only give glory to God. It wasn't us. I feel the biggest joy has been Aaron himself. I mean, he's changed our family, he's changed our dynamics. And in that same thing, it's also been a biggest challenge. Through that, it's uh, made us more aware, more open, I think more loving. We would not do it all over again in a heartbeat. Adoption has helped us learn how much God does in fact love us, even though we are adopted into his kingdom, that we are his children also. We are loved uh, because there's no difference in love between our biological children and our child that we adopted. We love them all equally. Adoption is one of those things that uh, God has taken this to the next level. Uh, God has chosen me despite all my baggage and all my failures. And just to know how much he loves me and he washed my sins away and he stepped in for me. Only a loving God would do that. Hello, I am Kristen Ritten, and this is my husband, Michael. Early on in our marriage, the Lord had planted this passion and compassion for little people that get caught in loneliness and being alone. I went actually on a missions trip to India. When I came home from that, I just um, was pursuing what, what does that mean at home? That's just been our heart, and the Lord has just been tugging on our hearts ever since to love these little people who get caught in the system and it's not their fault. We got into foster care in 2017, uh, primarily based on a Bible verse, James 1, 27. Pure and genuine religion in the sight of God our Father means caring for the orphans and the widows in their distress and refusing to let the world corrupt you. The last part of that verse, corrupt. not letting the world corrupt you, I think in our, in our society here in America, that's comfort. The Lord did not come down and sacrifice His life so that we can sit on the couch and be comfortable. Um, we are on our fourth foster child. Three babies and one elementary age child. Foster children are coming to us um, out of very dangerous situations. Yeah, your average foster child when they come into your home is scared, sad, lonely, and with nothing. We assumed that when they came to us they had no one praying for them. Every time I rocked them for nap time or bedtime, I prayed over them the entire time. So the Lord's hand has been on them, and even though they are not part of our family anymore, they are our children forever. And so we pray for them consistently, all the time, wondering where our little babies are. And what we pray for them is their salvation. We want their hearts to be with Jesus someday. We've all learned that it is pretty easy to love a child that's not your own as your own. We have a better understanding for the sacrifice that Christ made for us and His love because of this, because if we can love a child after a couple days or a couple months, and God knew us before we, you know, we were born, I can only imagine the love that, that God has for us. Hi, I'm Leroy Brentforder. And I'm Roxanne Brentforder. We had been married seven, eight years and decided that we really wanted a family. After a period of time, a number of infertility issues. I said to her one day, let's forget this, let's adopt. So we went to a number of adoption agencies and we finally found one. They said, sure, we can help you find. I think maybe they called us on a Monday. Yes, said, How would that you like was right. They called me at work. Tuesday, 
And uh, of course we said yes. I remember meeting that little girl the first time. She was the cutest, uh, precious, most babe I'd seen in my life. She melted my heart immediately, and uh, it was love at first sight. It was a precious, precious day. So we applied in January. He was born in March. We got his picture in May, and we picked him up in August. So it was nine months that we had to wait for this one. Thinking about seeing Jenny for the first time, this was the same. They were our family, and we knew that right away. And, and, and I said it was love at first sight. We loved those kids just immensely. Our kids haven't always been perfect, just like we have not always been perfect, but we always loved them. It wasn't a, a portion of a day that we didn't love our kids. When they didn't meet our expectations, it was frustrating at times. But there wasn't a there wasn't a second that they weren't loved, and I think that that is in some way that's the way it is with God, and it's for me. It's very hard to imagine that. It's very hard for me to look at my life and to know with full confidence that God loves me. Because I say, how, how could that be? I mean, I, you know, I, look, I don't know that I love myself because of, of me. But then I say, oh, but, but I remember how I loved my kids. I loved them. Um, when they weren't obedient, I loved them. And that's the same picture. And it's, uh, it's reassuring to me when I do think about that with my own life. I think, uh, how could God love me? Well, it's the same thing. How could I love these kids? I didn't, I didn't, we didn't birth them. They were just handed to us by somebody from, you know, some other mom. They aren't ours. Yeah, they are ours. They are ours. And, uh, and that's the way it is with God. We are His. And He loves us in spite of, no matter what. Uh, it's unbelievable, I think, the love that we can have and that people have for adopted children. And I think it's unbelievable the love that God can have for us.